Will he or won't he? It's looking more and more as if New Haven Mayor John DeStefano will not run for an 11th term in office. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. Could it be a changing of the guard at City Hall in New Haven? There is word today that John DeStefano, the city's longest serving mayor, will not seek re-election in the fall. The mayor expected to make it official later on today. News 8's Kent Pierce live outside of City Hall in New Haven this noon with more on why DeStefano is apparently ready to step aside. Kent. And Keith, we're talking about published reports that are saying that John DeStefano, the mayor of New Haven, is going to have an announcement at 5 o'clock this afternoon in which he is going to announce he is not going to run for an 11th term. That would mean that New Haven's going to have its first new mayor in two decades. When John DeStefano got elected to his first term in 1993, the mayor and the city looked a lot different. Just ask the Chamber of Commerce chair. And there might have been five or six restaurants at that time in downtown New Haven that people from the suburbs would come in to, uh, to patronize. Now we're talking about 40 or 50. Welcome to New Haven, Ikea. Restaurants, stores, bioscience. DeStefano worked with business, the state, and with Yale to completely change the look and feel of New Haven. That included blowing up one of the city's biggest landmarks and eyesores in 2007. Demolishing the Coliseum made way for the new Gateway Community College campus that opened last fall. It is education that will probably be DeStefano's biggest legacy in New Haven. He vowed to rebuild or completely renovate every school in the city. That $1.5 billion project is just about completed. That way Mayor DeStefano gets a closer look at our... DeStefano also championed community policing, and crime rates fell in the last 20 years. That's part of why he rarely faced a serious challenge in running for a record 20 terms. His toughest race was when he ran for governor in 2006. He beat Dan Malloy in the Democratic primary, but lost to Jody Rell in a landslide in November. His time in City Hall had some controversies. A group of firefighters sued the city when they passed the promotions exam, but they didn't get promoted because the city said the test was biased against African Americans. The firefighters took the suit to the Supreme Court and won. And DeStefano was vilified by conservatives nationwide when he started letting undocumented immigrants get city-issued ID cards. One, two, three. But when you drive over the new Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge, remember that it was DeStefano who fought to make it a bridge worth looking at. And remember what the old bridge and the old city used to look like. During those 20 years or the years since John DeStefano first came in, uh, the uh, city of New Haven and the region have really turned around. Now, Mayor DeStefano has not publicly commented about this since word got out about this announcement today. The announcement is scheduled for 5 p.m. at a restaurant on Temple Street called The Russian Lady. It's what used to be called The Playwright. News 8 will be there to bring you whatever it is he says, so stay tuned for that. We're live outside New Haven City Hall. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.